And the gentleman yields back, and the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Posey, is recognized for his questions. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I thank the witnesses for their attendance here today. Uh, Mr. Cass and Mr. Nordhaus, uh, do you believe uh, Dr. Duffy's claim that government regulation is responsible for lowering the cost of refrigerators in this country? Or, or do you tend to believe it might be due to uh, competition and improved production and, and technical advancements? I would say probably a bit of both, and I, I don't know the specific research that he is referring to, but I would assume that a significant amount of the cost savings there were not in the actual purchase cost of the refrigerator, but just in the energy costs associated with running it as refrigerators have begot, become more efficient. I do think that there's a case that uh, regu various regulatory measures um, ha like Energy Star, Star have um, significantly contributed to improving the efficiency, energy efficiency of refrigerators. Uh, we're we're talking about costs. costs. Okay, thank you. Mr. Cass. I think as Mr. Nordhaus emphasized, the key distinction is between the upfront cost of a product typically and then the operating cost. And what we find with regulation is that if you uh, – and we see this now with, for instance, cafe standards, if you require people to purchase more expensive cars uh, that use less gas, you can claim to be saving them money. Uh, the problem is that typically they don't agree, and if they did, you wouldn't need the regulation. That's kind of what I thought. Uh, Dr. Duffy, you referenced a big threat from large-scale emissions of greenhouse gases from thawing permafrost. How did the greenhouse gases get captured into the permafrost in 15 seconds or less? It's, uh, it's dead organic matter, okay. dead animals and plants. All right. Uh, what was the temperature on Earth before the last ice age? Before the last ice age? In the last, yes, sir. The last interglacial, uh, well, similar to what, what it was about 100 years ago. You think? You don't think maybe it was 30 degrees warmer when dinosaurs roamed the Earth? Well, there certainly have been uh, epochs in the past uh, when uh, the global temperature was warmer than it is now, and there's evidence that during those epochs there was massive release uh, of greenhouse gases uh, from uh, frozen ground, previously frozen ground. Well, where did the greenhouse gases come from if we didn't have people to create them? Oh. Uh, Again, you know, the greenhouse gases that are, are, are tied up in permafrost, or the carbon, there's not really gases, but the carbon that's tied up in permafrost uh, is uh, undecayed or organic matter. Dead so that's a threat that would exist if people never existed? It's a threat that would exist, but the, the activities of people are unlocking that threat by warming the Arctic uh, and causing that what, frozen what, ground to How fall. many ice ages do you think we've had on this planet? Uh, dozens. Okay, um, but you know, what just because it's happened before doesn't mean it's benign. <laughs> what what caused the end of the last ice age? Uh, the ice ages are caused uh, by uh, oscillations in uh, Earth's orbital parameters. I yeah, the last one was caused by a cataclysmic collision of an asteroid on this planet, I believe. Um, uh, what 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 do you say to people who uh, theorize that? the Earth, as it continues to uh, warm, is returning to its uh, normal temperature? Look, you know, if you want to, if you want to characterize uh, a temperature uh, above today's temperature as normal, uh, you, you're free to do that, but that doesn't mean uh, that's a, a planet that we want to live on. Uh, if we let uh, the I, Earth, I, I don't want to get philosophical. I'm, I'm not to getting stay philosophical. I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting extremely you know, practical. All, I, you're what? I'm being extremely practical. Yeah. Uh, well, if if we let the planet warm two or three degrees, we will have tens of meters of sea level rise, and and the community where I live uh, will essentially cease to exist. We. I don't think anybody disputes that the Earth is getting warmer. Mm -hmm. I I think what's not clear is the exact amount of who caused what, and, and getting, getting to that is, I think, where we're trying to go with this committee, just a little bit understanding yeah. of exactly uh, how much uh, different causes contribute 
uh, well, the you know, warming that look, we're seeing. I, I encourage you to look at the, the, the last assessment report of the, of the Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change estimated the human contribution uh, to warming over the last 60 or 70 years is essentially equal uh, to the observed warming. In other words, they're saying uh, humans caused essentially all of the observed warming over the last when, when 60, do you 70 think, years. When do you think the, the, the turn was made from the 70s prediction that we were going to have another ice age, and that was the big threat they were telling us when I was in, in school? Well, the, the, the scientific community in the 70s never actually widely predicted uh, an immediate cooling uh, there were a few popular press articles about it, but it was n never something that was widely believed in the scientific community. The, gen the gentleman's time has expired. <laughs>